What if I told you there's a two hour surgery that can make type two diabetes disappear for some people? That sounds unbelievable, maybe even misleading. So let's be clear right away. This is not a miracle cure and it's not for everyone. What people often call diabetes surgery is actually a form of metabolic or bariatric surgery, similar to gastric bypass. It's already used in the US and Europe for people with type 2 diabetes and obesity. In many patients, blood sugar improves dramatically, sometimes reaching remission within days or weeks. That means normal glucose levels without diabetes medications. But this isn't a quick fix. The surgery changes how your gut handles food and hormones, and it requires lifelong follow-up, nutrition planning, and medical care. Diabetes can return if those changes aren't maintained. So yes, a two-hour surgery can stop diabetes for some people, but it's a serious medical treatment, not a shortcut, and it comes with real commitments. Let's break down who it helps, how it works, and what you need to know before even thinking about it. And if this video was helpful, like it and subscribe so you don't miss future content. In most cases, it's for adults with type 2 diabetes and obesity. The usual cutoff is a body mass index of 35 or higher. Some people with a BMI between 30 and 35 may also qualify if their diabetes stays uncontrolled despite intensive treatment with medications and lifestyle changes. This is not used for type 1 diabetes. Age matters too. Most programs consider patients between 18 and 65, though decisions outside that range are made on a case-by-case -case basis. The key point is that it isn't a cosmetic or elective procedure. It's a medical treatment reserved for people whose diabetes remains difficult to control, even when they're doing everything right. Next, let's talk about how this surgery actually improves blood sugar so quickly. Most diabetes surgeries are a type of gastric bypass. The surgeon makes the stomach much smaller and reroutes part of the small intestine. Food takes a different path through your gut. That change does more than limit how much you eat. It changes how much your hormones behave. In plain terms, the new route tells your body to release more hormones that help control blood sugar and appetite, like GLP-1 and PYY. These hormones help your body respond better to insulin. At the same time, signals that push blood sugar higher are reduced. That's why so many people see their glucose levels drop within days or weeks, often before they've lost very much weight. The improvement isn't just from eating less, it's from how the surgery rewires the body's metabolism. So what happens after the surgery in real terms? Large studies from the US, Europe, and other regions consistently find that about 40 to 80% of carefully selected patients reach diabetes remission within the first one to two years after gastric bypass type surgery. Remission means normal or near normal blood sugar without diabetes medications, but this is the part that often gets left out. Remission rates decline over time. For some people, diabetes returns years later. Even when that happens, most patients still see major benefits. Blood sugar control is usually much better than before surgery. Fewer medications are needed and insulin is often avoided or delayed. So this isn't a permanent cure for everyone. It's a powerful tool that can help reset diabetes control, especially when combined with long-term lifestyle and medical follow-up. Before getting too excited, let's talk about the downsides. On the benefit side, many patients see significant weight loss and a big drop in HbA1c. 
Some are able to stop insulin or reduce diabetes medications. Over time, this can lower the risk of heart disease, kidney disease, and other diabetes-related complications. But there are real downsides. This is major surgery. There are risks like bleeding, leaks, infections, and blood clots. While serious complications are uncommon, they're not zero. Long-term nutrient deficiencies are common. Vitamins like B12, iron, calcium, and vitamin D can drop, which means lifelong supplements and regular blood work are non-negotiable. And when many people do well, weight gain and diabetes relapse can happen years later, especially without ongoing follow-up. This surgery isn't an easy way out, it's a trade-off, and it only works well when patients commit to long-term care and lifestyle changes. Next, let's talk about who should seriously consider this option and who probably shouldn't. For most people, treatment still starts with lifestyle changes, medications, and regular monitoring. That includes newer drugs like GLP-1 and SGLT-2 medications, which can be very effective for blood sugar control and heart protection. Surgery is considered when these approaches aren't enough to keep diabetes under control. What's important to know is that metabolic surgery is no longer viewed as experimental. It's now included in major medical guidelines in the US and Europe as an evidence-based treatment option for selected patients with type 2 diabetes and obesity. That said, access isn't the same everywhere. Insurance coverage, approval criteria, and wait times vary widely depending on the country and the insurer. So while surgery is a recognized option, it's not automatically available to everyone who qualifies on paper. Now here's what you should ask your doctor before taking this any further. If this is something you're even thinking about, here are the right questions to ask your doctor. Start with, am I a candidate for metabolic or bariatric surgery? Then ask, which procedure would you recommend for my BMI and how long I've had diabetes? And just as important, what are the long-term success rates and risks at your center? This isn't a decision to make with one doctor or one visit. Anyone considering surgery should be evaluated by a full care team that usually includes an endocrinologist, a bariatric surgeon, a dietitian, and a mental health support. Each plays a role in long-term success. And one critical reminder, never stop diabetes medications on your own, even if blood sugar improves quickly after surgery. Medication changes should always be done with medical guidance. If this procedure still feels like a big decision to consider, the good news is you have options and you can start right now. Watch our video, Fix Insulin Resistance Fast, 5 Proven Steps You Can Start Today to learn simple habits that can make a real difference. And if this helped you, like the video and subscribe for more clear, practical, 